Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. In this video, we are gonna use the amazing and gorgeous Love Doves and Poinsettias background stamp. For this card, I actually started making one and then I kind of shifted gears because I didn't like what I ended up with. So I made another card and then I went back to the first one and made that into a card too. So you'll get to see the process of both of those cards here. The first thing I was thinking, let's go ahead and ink this up in Versamark ink. It's a clear tacky ink and then embossing powder will stick to it. So I stamped my image onto watercolor paper uh, with the Versamark ink and then I poured silver embossing powder over it. Once I tap off the excess, I'm going to just use the paper to funnel all of that extra embossing powder right back into the jar. And then I'm going to heat my image. That embossing powder will heat up and turn to kind of a liquid. And then when it cools off, it's going to be this gorgeous, shiny embossed silver background. Isn't it gorgeous? So that embossing is actually going to be really great for watercoloring because it's going to kind of help uh, keep you in the lines, so to speak, when you're coloring. So I am using a large acrylic block and I'm making a color palette. I'm using some of our green inks, grass skirt, our brand new Mardi Gras color, our new Samba, and then I'm going to use rock and red and then I'm gonna grab a water brush and I'll be able to pick color up off of my color palette and color in. So I'm starting out by focusing on everything red. So I'm coloring in all the little berries and then I'm gonna go do that poinsettia. So I'm doing Samba first cause it's a lighter red and then I'll just color all of the leaves, uh, do a nice wash over the top and then I'm gonna come back in with rock and red and do some more detailed. I'm starting kind of at the bottom and kind of feathering out my color toward the, toward, you know, into the bigger part of the petal. And that just gives it shading and some interest. So if you keep a paper towel on hand, it helps you with controlling water flow. You don't want to add too much water to this. And it also is there handy for when you want to change color. So just wipe off your brush on the paper towel. Sometimes I have a water bottle nearby and I can just spray, spray my tip down a little bit to help wash it out more just to make sure it's clean and then I can move into the next color. So I'm going through these leaves. So I'm coloring some of them with mainly grass skirt maybe a little bit of Mardi Gras kind of added in there. And sometimes I'm going in and doing more Mardi Gras, maybe just a pinch of, of uh, grass skirt there. So it gives you variety and gives you just interest and in, so that everything isn't just one color. So now I'm just gonna use the paper towel to clean off the color palette, get a fresh start here, cause I wanna go into the doves now. I'm gonna make a little palette of sandcastle and I'm gonna give a really light color wash over the doves. So I'm using a lot of water and just a little bit of color so that I get, like I said, I want a really light color wash over them. Next up, I'm gonna use a little bit of tiara to color in the centers of the poinsettias. And then I wanna do something on the background. So I'm grabbing my It's a Boy ink pad. And again, I'm using a lot of water cause I want a really light color wash over this. So I'm just going in between all of the leaves and the doves and the poinsettias and just doing that really light blue color wash. So I did run into a little issue with this method. When I got to the small berries, it was was really hard to control that and I was getting some leakage outside the berries and the red was kind of uh, bleeding into the blue so that wasn't working out the way I wanted it to so I decided decided to try something different so I started from scratch I got a new piece of watercolor cardstock out and I just wipe uh, sprayed it down with water and then I used the it's a boy ink to make a color palette on that large block again. And then I just dipped my watercolor paper into that puddle of light, it's a boy ink. And then you can see I'm getting a drippy watercolor kind of washed look on the background. And then I just, I was just playing. I took my brush, I kind of wiped it off and then I dipped it again into the palette and then I dried it and I ended up with, well, kind of what I was going for, just a light wash of really light blue over the whole background. So then I was back at square one with this one. So I did the Versamark ink on the background stamp, stamped it on my watercolor cardstock, 
used my silver embossing powder to cover that and then I heat embossed it and then I started with my watercolor palette again. So the light wash of light blue is already on the background and then I don't have to worry about my reds bleeding into the background. So I really like how this worked out. I also tried using my blender pen. This is uh, like a marker so you have a little more control and you can get into small spaces and I feel like I was bleeding outside or going outside the lines a little bit more with my water brush. So I really kind of liked using the blender pen on this. I use the same color palette of Mardi Gras, Lime Ricky, Samba, and Rock and Red along with Tiara for the inside of the poinsettias and the sand castle in a really light wash for the doves. And now I have two background pieces that were created very similar. They look similar, but I feel like the second method, I had a lot more control over the final look. So finishing these cards off, one, I just did a black layer behind and mounted it on a card front. And then I am creating a greeting just by stamping in Versamark on black and covering it with white embossing powder, and then we'll heat it. And then I took my background piece and I just cut the top off off and then cut off a little bit more and then did the happy holidays in between and mounted that all on a card front. So that was kind of a little unique look there that didn't take away from the background and the gorgeousness of that at all. I added, you can see a little piece of stripy paper peeking up right there. That is from our holiday paper pack, Love, Dove, Love Doves and Poinsettias, which coordinates with this background stamp. So here are the two finished cards. And I hope you guys learned something, learned from my mistakes, <laughs> and you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again soon on the next video.